All right, guys, let's do this. The peppermint candy canes. We've never done it before. It's the peppermint candy canes eggnog. We've never done that before. So what you need are six large eggs and then two large eggs because you need two uh, egg yolks. You need half cup of sugar, two tablespoons more of sugar, one fourth teaspoon salt, half teaspoon pure peppermint, it's this thing here, and one tablespoon vanilla extract. Uh, what else? Four cups whole milk, uh, 12 peppermint, peppermint candy canes broken into pieces. That's why we got these. These are not 12, but 18. But because they're mini peppermint, peppermint candy canes, I think 18 will do. Uh, what else? Um, three ounce white chocolate. Coarsely chopped. Uh, oh, and the peppermint, you need to break them in little pieces. Uh, heavy cream we forgot to get. And then peppermint sticks for garnish. You got all that? So let's start. So... So that, that were the ingredients, you guys. Yeah. Now, what we're gonna have to mix first is what? So it's eggs, egg yolk, sugar, salt, and the extracts. Okay. Six. So it's six large eggs. Have you eaten? Yeah. Yeah. Six large eggs plus two large egg yolks. And you have to mix all of this while it's on low heat, right? Yeah. That's for the sugar to dissolve. So we're going to put the heat on in a moment. Just put it all in there. So you guys getting there? Six large eggs, two large egg yolks, half cup sugar. So we have two additional eggs as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have enough eggs. Let me see. The eggs, the egg yolk, the sugar, how much sugar, half cup sugar, and salt, just a pinch of salt, and the extracts. That meaning the, let me see, half teaspoon, half teaspoon pure peppermint extract, and one tablespoon pure vanilla extract. So only these ingredients, you will be Mixing and whisking on low heat in a large saucepan, they say, over medium low heat until combined. So that's what we're gonna do. So keep whisking. Yeah, until combined. Until combined, until they're really good combined together. This is custard. And what you guys don't know is that we already tried the patch and it was a major disaster. You're going to see it in uh, one will, of the... You will see the bonus. In one of the bonuses. Yeah. What the result was. So that's why we keep repeating. <laughs> if you like, we get it. Why are you keep uh, uh, repeating the ingredients? It's because we're a little bit thrown off and shaken because it was just... It was major failure. So... Um, we don't know how go how we're going to uh, mix these pieces that we have together. So, again, don't add the milk just yet. It has to be completely combined first. Yeah. It's so much ingredients that sometimes it confuses you. But uh, one last time, I promise, so far, six large eggs two large egg yolks, half cup of sugar, a half cup of sugar, half mm. teaspoon of mint extract, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that's it, Mike, right? Yeah. All right, okay. So Mike has been doing this for a couple of minutes. I think it's uh, completely incorporated. Are you sure? Yeah, because this should not boil. So now, next step, pour milk, steady, 
four cups of milk, which is one liter. More or less. More or less. And then whisk it. Keep whisking the whole time. You can't stop. That's what the recipe says. You really can't stop. Just like Pringles. Once you pop, you can can't stop. stop. <laughs> so... Because in the first version that we had, the first patch that went wrong, this is where it went wrong. I did not first combine the first ingredients that we showed you on low heat. I did the whole thing plus the milk and then put it all together at the same time on the fire. And that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, from this point, you're gonna need to be whisking for the next 35 minutes till it becomes thick and covers the back of the spoon. The moment, uh, if it's thick enough to cover the back of a spoon, 30 to 35 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. Hey, that's technology. There it goes, easy peasy. Thirty minutes of whisking. Thirty minutes of whisking on. You can re the recipe says that you can raise the heat to medium, but not too much though. You do not want to end up with cheese, but with custard. We're gonna cheat a little bit, you guys. We're gonna, the mixer. we're gonna use the mixer, and then I don't know if you use a mixer if you still need to whisk it for 30 minutes or maybe the half because you're doing at least triple the whisking what do you think Mike? Uh, you need to stir it in order to, to prevent the ingredients from the degrading or yeah. not combining anymore but uh, you don't think there will be a difference whisking it by hand or with a mixer? I don't know Foamy. Very foamy. It's très foamy. I don't know. Okay guys, so the hard part is over, which is that whisking constantly, really constantly. Do not stop in between. We can't press this enough. Do not stop. Either swap, change hands, or if you have somebody else in the kitchen, ask them to take it over that you can have a break but do not stop do not cook it oh i mean cook it but do not boil it as soon as it start boiling turn the heat off completely so the next step is to it smells like pudding yeah yeah it smells like uh custard. flan japan yeah custard custard pudding vanilla uh, custard mm, it's really good so now we're gonna we're gonna press it through the now sieve. We need to sift it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. We're gonna hold this for you. Okay. And this, <laughs> this is what we realized in the previous patch that it's not it. It's not working. Look, this is perfect. This is perfect. Perfect. So help it a little bit. And I guess what stays behind must be thrown away. Yeah. So really guys, eggnog is not all that much of work if you do it right. I mean, yeah, the, the hard part is, the intense part is the whisking. The first whisking you do, which we just showed you. And the rest is just, you know, it's, I mean, there's some things that you need to do, but it's not like a lot of work. It's crazy how the eggs solidify and become like an omelette. Look, it's not supposed to be pressed through there or. I don't know. What do you think, Mike? I think it's okay. 
Are you supposed to press it through the sieve or just... I'm not pressing it through the sieve, I'm just so making sure that all the... The recipe doesn't say what we do with what left gets left behind. I think we're supposed to throw this away. No? What does it say? Press it through the sieve? Yeah. Just or or okay. just... Just... I don't know, I'm not sure. When I repeat words, that's when I'm trying to make it up and then realize it's pointless to make it up. Wait, no. No? It's okay. This has so to be thrown out. This has to be thrown out. Okay. So let's throw this out. This is perfect. Uh, all right. Oh, you can't, you can't wait too long. You can't wait too long. Okay, well, no, I think we're good. Besides, it's just the two of us, so we do have enough for two cups that we're gonna be sharing you guys, uh, sharing with you. But, so, um, yeah, so we're gonna have to finish this vlog, this recipe, tomorrow, it takes two days. Because this is going to, we're gonna pour this into an airtight container and then put it in the fridge for one night. So that's what you get it's left bit, with. What? A little bit too thin? Uh, it's a little bit crummy. Crummy? Maybe you shouldn't have been pressing it through. No, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But still, it's good. Eggnog is supposed to be thick. Mmm, it smells so good, you guys. So now. Now we're gonna let it cool off and then put it in the fridge again in an airtight container. Here it is, airtight. I think a little bit too tight. <laughs> we suck too much air out of the container. So it's still a little bit warm to the touch, waiting for it to cool a little bit more and then put it in the fridge. So guys, we've had the first Christmas day and the eggnog um, custard that we made has been sitting in the fridge not one day but two days because we didn't have the time nor the energy. So we're gonna continue and finish it today. Nor the, rooms, nor the room in our stomach. Nor the room in our stomach because we had turkey and our uh, butcher, you know, he didn't listen. So he gave us a bird that's way bigger than, you know, we, we uh, normally would have. So what you were doing there, you're gonna Just make cream. heavy cream. You're gonna whip it and make some fresh cream because uh, you're almost done actually. Basically, what you're gonna do is the custard that you made that has been sitting in the fridge You're gonna whip the cream here make it fresh and then mix it with that custard With you know what is supposed to be the eggnog that you made so far and that's it And then you crush some peppermint candy canes and you sprinkle some on top and That's it. So you're almost there Just finished making fresh cream as you can see it's not too it's not too heavy it's not too thick and remember you're not going to, to mix them using a mixer you're gonna be very gentle with some sp spat off it what we're just making sure that it still smells good because it's it is eggs but then again you guys it's cooked so you're safe Oh, whoa. Uh, yeah, and I just, um, and I just crushed these with a food processor. These are the candy canes. Smells really good. See? This is the first time for us to make eggnog. I don't know, according to Mike, it smells funky. So maybe you shouldn't leave it in the fridge for two days. But then again, it was cooked. It was all cooked. It already smelled like that uh, yesterday. It's because of the eggs, I think. So this is the final result. You guys, here it is. The peppermint candy canes eggnog.
it tastes okay. I don't know, maybe it's just because we've never had this before, so I need to get used to the taste, to the flavor, because it's, it is it is a very particular flavor, eggnog, if you don't know it, if you're not, if you haven't been, you know, if you didn't grow up with it. But um, yeah, I would say it wasn't the easy thing to make. It's a little bit of a fuss, but again, maybe it was the first time for us to make this. But other than that, I think it's, I don't know, I, I think it's okay. It, it is festive if you make it like this. And um, we hope we made this easy for you to go and try it, you guys. And let us know what you think of it when you do. Mike, you want to have a sip? Yeah. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, of course. So guys, one last thing. Me and Mike just had a sip, as you can see. And it was. And we didn't die. We didn't die. <laughs> so it's not bad. No, it's not bad. No, I don't, I like it. Really? So uh, you know, go ahead and and try it. If you're curious about having an uh, eggnog taste, just go ahead and try it. It's it's good. It's really it has very fresh taste. It's like vanilla ice cream. So um, if you like that, I'm sure you're gonna like this. And it smells really good. All right, thank you so much for being here with us, guys. Merry Christmas. We hope you had a wonderful first uh, day of Christmas and that you're enjoying this next day. We are going to make... That's, that's only in Holland. <laughs> that's only in Holland? Yeah. Around the world, they have only one Christmas day? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm sorry. <laughs> Christmas is already over. Christmas for, is already over for you. else. For us, it, this is the second Christmas day, so we're gonna warm up the leftovers because we had a big bird and it was yum. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. We love you and thank you so much for always coming back to our channel. We know we don't say it uh, always specifically, but know that in our heart, we appreciate it a lot. All of you that comment, share, and, and tell us how much you love our videos, it really means a lot to us. So thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if you're new, Welcome to this channel. We hope you subscribe today and share it with your friends. Again, if you decide to make this recipe, please let us know how it turned out for you. Huge hug from us and um, big kisses. Much love from Amsterdam and we hope to see you here soon. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Ooh. <laughs> Who wants eggnog? No, something <laughs> went terribly wrong. <laughs> we discovered a new kind of cheese, you guys. This is our eggnog. <laughs> Look at this. This is so But well, it is egg. And I can put it on your noggin. This is the new eggnog. This is the, the 2017 eggnog. Yeah. This is more like egg omelette. It smells bad. It, it does? Let's see. Oh, it smells like, I don't know, hey, it smells like 10 dirty socks together. <laughs> <laughs> somebody who had Fu Yung Hai and then fired. Let's throw this out. Jeez, let's throw this out. That's one huge failure. <laughs> okay, we're not going to post this. No, You're not probably seeing this as, as a, a bonus. bonus. <laughs> yeah. okay. That's the cake and it's perfect. I think two See? layers are going to be possible. Yeah, I don't think more. Two layers is max. Two layers? Yeah. Yeah, you mean just in half? Cut it in half and then you have two layers? No, like two layers. Really? I guess I went a little bit overboard. But oh, look, there's enough space for some more milk. Let's Let's add some more milk. Oh no, stop. 
please stop, stop. Oh, 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 right on time, you guys. You see that? Whoa. Now that is one fine hot cocoa mug. Mm. That's what you get. You get Beanie, get Kermit with his banjo, and you get his cousin. I never knew Kermit had a cousin until this year. Then I heard it from my. I don't know, I think I said something when we saw this combo. I think I said something like, hey, why are there two Kermits in there? And then Mike was like, no, it's not two Kermits. That's his cousin. <laughs> That's really cute. His nephew. Or his nephew. Yeah. Wow, look at this, you guys. What Mike has been building. It's part of a gift that he got. Ready. Almost, yeah. You've been building it. Here it is. See that? <laughs> and we're watching White Christmas, just like we do every year. That's it. You finished it. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So cute. So, so this is what we did this year, the stuffing. But guys, remember to always put in fruit. But I don't know, this year we wanna cut down a little bit and see how it goes. And we choose to do more stuffing. So this is basically it. Now we're gonna tie it up and then into the oven it goes. Wish us luck. Mmm. Make sure you cover the pieces where there is no skin because the skin gives protection from the heat. So all the places where there is no skin, cover it extra with butter. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. There she is. Look at her. There she mm. is. So guys, what's gonna be for the new year? Let me read this for you. Oh, I see a few bumps on the road. But, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. I see some happiness there too. Can you read it? Can you see it? It reads happiness. Oh, and some dreams there down, down there. Oh, but here it says you have to pursue them. Merry Christmas, you guys. Go out there and make your dreams come true. Oh, we left. Those guys left. Thank you.